So today, we're gonna be inflating our plastic with this inflator here. Um, plugs right in over here. We're gonna slide this piece up in between the plastic, up there. This goes on in between the two layers of plastic. And this is gonna bolt on to there, and this will click down and spin and lock into place. We're gonna make a little slit in our plastic there. So these three nuts right here are what hold our inflator up connected to that truss arch whatever you want to call it here and so this we're gonna pull this cord out of the way can you turn that off before I touch the wire yep perfect there, you go. there we go that's how you do it so once you find how it's gonna fit onto there the next step is going to be to cut a slit in the plastic right through where this piece is going to go, right in here. And John has a knife, so this video is going to flow very smoothly. So John's on a ladder outside of the green high tunnel right now, pulling up this outer layer so I don't cut it. And right up in here, we're going to make a little cross pattern. Hold on, it's not, it's not really, there's not much space in there, but... You see right where I'm going though? Oh, that looks better. So I'm gonna, I can kind of pinch it here, maybe. I don't know, I'm just gonna try to cut through and not cut the plastic. I like to make this hole a little smaller than need be, because once you get the piece in there, it'll widen it. So be very careful not to cut the outside layer. And so we got one cut made. There's the next one. Very carefully. All right, so we have a small cross section here. And now I can stick my finger through that hole to push the plastic up. And so there you go, just like that. And now, John's gonna undo a piece of wiggle wire and slide this piece down into the plastic in between the two layers, and I'm gonna help him guide it up through to here. So here, John, I'm gonna toss you the, there you go. oh, 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 great catch. And so I'm gonna get these bolts, or these nuts started on here. Go up over this bar. We're coming up to the hole. Can you, I can widen this now a little bit. We're pretty much on it. I'll just make the hole a little wider. Maybe it wants to go the other way. Oh yeah, there you go. Does that feel like tight in place? Now see that? It's connected. Now the last thing we're going to do is tighten this down and we're going to plug it in. And so now we have our electric cord, extension cord and plug it in. We're going to hear our inflator motor start running. And so up here we have an adjustable vent I guess you'd call it and so the wider opening it is the more air is pumping into there and so we're gonna leave it wide open for the time being and then adjust how much it needs to be open once the plastics inflated the size of your high tunnel will depend on and the size of your high tunnel and how many holes in your plastic will depend on how open this vent will be so we're gonna leave it about all the way for the time being so you can see after this weekend, the plastic has inflated quite a bit. And that's what you want to see. That's all that, that double layer. So all that air is going to trapped in there. It's going to keep in heat. Um, it's going to help shed snow in the winter. You can see how it's inflating in here. So it's pretty, pretty well inflated. It's looking good. Some spots are a little could have pulled, been pulled a little bit tighter. 
can see how this piece is so far in, but overall, overall pretty good. So, and there's our inflator. And it's adjustable too. So I had it wide open over the weekend, but then I closed it partially because um, it's pretty well inflated. It doesn't need to be running wide open like that. So I've got it about halfway. Pretty simple design there. <laughs>